Update, my, 41M, wife, 35F, refuses to put our son in public school. Original post. HTTPS. www.reddit.com slash r slash relationship, advice, comments, 17 now 9 kilobits, my 41 meters, wife, 35F, refuses, to, put, our, son 6, in, pub. Lick. UTM, source equals share in UTM, medium equals web 2x and context equals 3. So after many heated arguments, we agreed that she could finish out this year. If she stays consistent and there is an improvement, I agree he will stay homeschooled but if I don't he will go to public school. I am still afraid she may renege on the deal and she is afraid I may not give her a fair shot and just disagree no matter what when the time comes. But that's where the trust in your partner is really tested. Now this took a lot of conviction and tears and emotions. This was not easy to get to because of how strongly we felt about her homeschooling and the public school system. So I suppose any argument about the welfare of our children is better than petty ones. In the end, I was close to really walking away. But I listened to her feelings and she understood mine. I hope this helps someone in a similar situation. Thanks for all the positive feedback. Edit. So let me explain. I have a calendar of his lessons and times she will be teaching him. Those will be signed off and checked. I will also have him tested at the end. She has until the end of December this year. If she fails, then he will be enrolled come Jan 2024. Also, the nasty comments that we are failing him. I'm a terrible parent. Spineless. Not needed. I was and am willing to divorce unless I have my son succeed. I'm sure you all meant it as motivation. I'm guessing. I'm here to fight for my son. But also in a marriage. And you don't just throw away your marriage unless there is no other choice. So if she reneges on the deal. She knows the consequences. I must admit I don't find this a satisfactory conclusion. I'll be honest. I doubt that your wife is a going to improve her teaching or b going to agree once next year comes. And meanwhile, your son still misses out on what's a critical time for schooling. I'm not you. Different people can have different standards. But school, public or private, would be a non-negotiable for me. Edit. Actually. I should ask, by end of the year, do you mean December or June? I'm much more sanguine if the deadline is in two months, not eight. Did you mean calendar year or school year? I can understand if you giving her until New Year's to show improvement. But until May or June, dot nah that would be a no-go. Sigh. So she got her way at the expense of your child. He's going to be behind in education and socialization by the time you finally get him into school. It seems like you punted the issue because you were tired of arguing instead of advocating for your kid. Educational neglect is a real thing and you both could be taken to court for it. Our CASA advocates are in court constantly on behalf of kids whose parents are guilty of emotional neglect. You may want to advise her that she needs to actually get a curriculum for him and make sure she is following the laws where you live. Send him to summer school if it doesn't work out or sign him up for extracurricular activities now. He's going to need to get used to school before starting. Is he in like a gym class that he goes with other kids at least? It seems he didn't do anything all day. If you sign him up next year. He's going to be the very old kid in the first grade. It's better if he is already used to the setting and paying attention. And the hours. Which is why I recommend you sign him up for something more formal. I don't think this is a compromise. Though. This is postponing the decision. So she wins unless you are able to sign him up for activities or at least online school. I think you need to set specific educational targets that she must work with your child to meet. Over the course of this year, 
Your child should be working at approximately grade level using your local curriculum. And you should work with your wife to set specific monthly learning goals for them to meet in line. With with this. Otherwise even if this doesn't improve and you do send him to school he will be horribly behind his classmates. This along with being the new kid has the potential to seriously socially isolate him. On that note, is he attending any homeschool meetups or extracurricular activities? It's really important that he builds connections with kids his own age and learns to communicate, work well with peers. In the long run even if you continue homeschooling he will probably enter the public school system. At some point, even if it isn't until high school or post-secondary, he needs to have the same base knowledge as his peers. Otherwise he will fall behind no matter how smart he is. He will have to work three times as hard filling in any gaps while trying to learn the new content. Alongside his classmates. I hope you don't mean end of the school year in May, June. He needs to be in school now and your wife needs major therapy for this. So, nothing changed? Doing your kid a huge disservice by homeschooling him. I've never met a well-adjusted homeschool kid. How are you going to measure whether there's been an improvement? You need some commonly accepted goals he should have reached by then. Otherwise the argument will just be over whether there is any improvement, and whether it's enough. I think you and your wife should sit down together and watch the video I've linked down below. It's a segment of John Oliver's show breaking down all the failings of homeschooling and the actual studied, proven effects poor homeschooling has on children. HTTPS youtube.be slash lzscp907 schlee c equals kztitdkhkcfokrq sorry brother your kid is probably gonna be dumb as soup please help him is she opposed to public school or being apart from her son like what if he was sent to a private school that had more intensive academics? It's important for him to experience that socialization of school. Maybe there's some sort of compromise of putting him in a homeschooling group? I really hope you don't mean a whole school year. That's way too long. He will be so far behind if he is not learning anything for 8 months. How will you prove she's teaching him consistently? Have you at least looked into an online school? There are online schools as well. Our daughter thrived. Oh honey, there's still three quarters of the school year left to go. And if you leave things as they are until the end of the year he's going to be in a much bigger academic hole. This mess is going to be so much worse in June. I feel so sorry for your poor kid. You're being feckless and your child is going to suffer for it. You're letting your child fall behind because you don't like confrontation with your spouse. Your children deserve better. This honestly just sounds like you're back at square one and nothing changed. However, I don't know you guys so I hope you're a couple who truly listens to each other and makes changes instead of throwing out empty promises. Please make sure she stays consistent since this is what you're choosing because it could be very bad for you guys legally eventually. So you're okay with neglecting your child if it avoids an argument with your wife. Are you growing a backbone? It's fine if he misses learning absolutely crucial skills on time if she feels heard. You trust her despite all previous evidence showing she is not able to properly educate your kid? Wow. Not exactly dad of the year are you? Reality check here. Consistent mediocre school is better than no school from a mom with untreated mental health issues. You are literally sacrificing your child's future to avoid an argument. I don't get how you think an occasional worksheet is better than public school. 
If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.